So this is the first in the series of videos uh, that shows how we apply this modeling method. And uh, I'm not using the profile I've created, so we're going to create everything from scratch uh, so you can see how it all works and fits together. Uh, so it's my hope that you find this to be useful. Uh, so with that, we'll go ahead and get started. I will point out that uh, I will make mistakes, and there will be things that I either introdu introduce on purpose or that just happen as we expose more detail and find new ways to think about it. And so part of this is also to show you how, as you zigzag around the model, uh, as Tim Wilkins would put it, exposing new details and information, you can go ahead and correct things quickly uh, so that it reflects your new understanding. So uh, thanks for coming along on the journey. Let's get started. So we'll go ahead and we'll create a new project. And we want a SysML project, and it's asking me for the location. And so I'm going to go ahead and store that locally here. And this is going to be the uh, all-terrain wheelchair. It's going to take a few seconds to set the project up and parse it. And I'm going to take two initial steps here at the beginning. The first thing we're going to do is turn on a setting in Magic Draw so that inherited uh, properties show up um, on, on blocks and you'll see why that's important later. So I'm going to do that right from the beginning. Uh, we're going to go ahead to the project options and to the shapes and the class and I just uh, typed on INH here and we're going to say to show inherited. So we'll say OK to that. So now as we inherit things it'll show up and that is important. In Magic Draw, there's lots of search boxes, so you can type a few characters and find things quickly. We're also going to go and show our auxiliary resources here with the gear in our containment tree. And we are going to set our ISO 80,000 units library to always load. So we come to the bottom here to usages and options, and we're going to order it to always load. That way we'll always have our units library available to us. So those are the two of the initial steps I like to take with the project. Uh, and so now it's ready to go. So with that, we're going to go ahead and commit this to the server so I can start editing it. So this is going to be connected to a Teamwork Cloud installation, which I hope uh, most of you will end up using. And I want you to see how uh, all those pieces fit together. So we'll go ahead and hide that. And we're going to go to Collaborate. And we're going to add this project to the server. Uh, it's the all-terrain wheelchair, and we're going to put it in the Systems Architecture Guild category. And we're going to go ahead uh, and add it to the server. So um, something that's important to know that is as you work on things, they'll turn blue in the containment tree. Uh, until they've been uh, committed to the server. Now that's a server project. So that's always a good way to um, see where you're at uh, with your work. Teamwork Cloud uses a database backend so we can get element by element compare uh, in history as opposed to just uh, saving the entire file based project uh, as uh, Teamwork Server did. So this is a step forward and you have a slight price to pay at the very beginning as you set it up. So uh, it's one I'm happy to pay. While this is waiting, I want to point out that I've selected this as a project because it's fairly simple, fairly mechanical. I think most people can relate to it. And so we're going to embed a uh, link to the video for the TED Talk that Amos Winter gave where he talks about uh, the cheap all-terrain uh, wheelchair he designed for developing countries. And so uh, you know, I would ask that you watch that video first. It's ahead of this in the playlist, uh, but I hope that you uh, do watch it so you have the appropriate context. And so even though this is a um, kind of a reverse engineering project, um, you know, it's, uh, it's important uh, that you at least have that context and see where we're going. So we've gone ahead and created that. And so um, the first thing I will do here is uh, create an element. And notice we have this nice uh, short tree um, displaying what our choices are. We can also type. And I'm going to go ahead and put in a uh, comment I shall make this a block, um, and I'm going to call this the Amos Winter Video. And I double-click to open it up, 
and there's a place to put hyperlinks in. And I'm going to go ahead and paste in the hyperlink uh, for the YouTube video uh, that this was and documentation, the TED Talk describing So there we go. So now we have a hyperlinked block that uh, we can double click and it'll go ahead and open up the video. So I can now embed this. Um, sorry, my screen capture is not set to capture my whole screen, but if you double click it, it will open the video. So notice um, this is blue. Even if I have save and it saves the local copy, uh, that makes it uh, that makes it black. But I will go ahead and I'll commit these changes to the server. Uh, And now we're ready to start modeling. So I'll go ahead and notice the uh, the actual save now is very rapid. And uh, with that, we'll stop this video and uh, get ready to start modeling use cases.